20 Nerdigans, this is the one and only Packer Girl 89 of Nerdigans, and today's manga Nerdigan live reaction video is going to be for Kaiju number 8, aka Monster number 8, chapter 73. So before I get into this recap and live reaction, let me just remind you to hit that like, share, and subscribe buttons. And because, of course, this channel, let alone this video, are not sponsored. And uh, we ain't sponsored by Shueisha, and uh, we ain't sponsored by Manga Plus, and uh, we ain't sponsored by Viz. And considering how much we promote Manga Plus on this channel, kind of surprising, right? Hmm? But if you love what we're doing and want to help keep this operation alive and kicking, so we can keep bringing you more anime and manga content, whether it be news, analysis, or live reactions like this one, feel free to hit up our Cash App and PayPal. Links are in the description box below. So... I am so fucking hyped, and this freaking title page makes me even more hyped for this shit. And my kitty is even hyped too, because we are going to see Hoshina use monster number 10. And my boy looks bass as fuck. Oh my god. Matsumoto. Matsumoto, because we only saw it from like the back last week or last chapter from the front. Oh, I love this design so much. This has to be the best looking monster weapon suit so far. I love the eye and the setter. It looks so cool. Oh my God. It looks so awesome. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. And the tail on the back. Oh. This gives me everything. Matsumoto, this is the best looking suit so far. Oh my god, yes it is, yes it is. And then Hoshina himself looks bad as hell. Part of me is like thinking I kind of would have loved to seen a helmet, but the other part of me is like, no. A helmet would have looked dumb. Maybe if he went into space, maybe. But anyways, I'm really hyped. I'm so hyped for this shit. Let's get to this chapter. See what's in store for us today. The weapon awakens. Yes. I, I can't wait to see. Speaking of, I can't wait to see the blades. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Activating numbers, uh, numbers weapon 10. Let's go. Oh my God. This looks so cool. <gasps> yes, he talks. This is so Knight Rider. Yes. Finally, it's time. Take me out there and let me raise hell, Hoshida. Yes. Oh my god. I am so excited for this. Matsumoto, you are giving me everything. Everything. Matsumoto, I, I love this background. This background. Oh my god, I love this background. And this page. This is beautiful. And I love how it looks, because remember the monster, aka, I should say, the symbiote Venom, um, how it looked parasitic inside of uh, um, Kafka. I love how parasitic number 10 looks up in here. It looks so good. Yes. <sighs> I told you I'm the one in charge. Um, quit interfering and let me do this. Don't tell me what to do. Hey, hey, Obanogi, what's up with this talking suit? It's distracting as hell. I won't shut up. This is the first ever numbers weapon that's uh, that's sentient. Woo! <gasps> um, achieving neural synchronization will be difficult, so establishing a verbal connection with it is a must. Keep it in mind, it's still a prototype, and to be frank, I don't think it's ready to be used in actual combat. I hear you, but still, if we want to be—if we want to stay one step ahead of number nine, it's a gamble we need to take. Oh yeah, I could get used to you. <laughs> get used to me? This ain't your body. We still ain't had a single successful full release in training. I know, Kitty. He's being as stubborn as you. Yep. Yes, but. I like this. I like this so much. It's because you keep moving on your own. It throws off our synchronization. You follow my orders. If we don't get this right today, I'll be dead and you'll get tossed in the bin. Get it? I get it. <laughs> Doesn't this give you guys like some venom 
uh, Venom tease in a way. It does, but this is done right. Because unlike other motherfuckers, Hoshina knows. Hoshina is taking control. He is dominant. And he could teach Kafka a thing or two. He, he needs to teach, he, that's what he needs to do. Hoshino needs to train Kafka. And he needs to be like, dude, you need to train your monster and keep him in control. Yes. Yeah, Kafka needs to like meet up with his, with the, the monster inside of him and be like, bruh, I'm taking control. I will embrace you and we will work together but you ain't gonna you ain't gonna control me. I know he kind of did, but he cut him off, and uh, I don't. That's not what he should have done, or at, well, for now he, he had to. But like at some point, he's gonna have to embrace it. Let's go. Here we go. Ah, uh, what did you do to the helicopter? This cheeky bastard doesn't get it at all. Oh God, that was number ten. Hey, what do you mean I haven't gone over the strategy yet? Dropping him with that one is part of the thrill. Yes! I love number 10. He is the best goddamn damn that monster yet. He, this suit is everything. This gives me symbiote realness. This is fucking symbiote. This is symbiote. Matsumoto, you cannot deny that you are giving us symbiote meets Knight Rider. Oh my god, this is this is symbiote meets Knight Rider, isn't it? Oh my god, it is. Holy shit, it fucking is. With a little bit of Frieza. Oh my god, tell me I'm wrong. Seriously, I I, I want to know. <laughs> well, here we go. This is bad. You dropped into a monster den so alone. I just knew it would be too risky to use that suit in the field. Well, I'll save the lecture for later. It's time to show you who's really in control. Here we go. Oh, dude, oh, she looks so badass. Here we go. The left side's vulnerable. We attack there first. Let's go left, go right. Uh huh? What are you doing? You need to target the most vulnerable area. It's common sense. Con <laughs> common sense is boring. We can easily cut through the right flank. It's fast. Well, go through its legs and slash it from behind. I want to see how strong it is. Attack it straight on. He, he's hit. Um, Vice Commander. Look what you did. Now we're surrounded. Boy, now this is interesting. God damn you. Oh no, they're completely out of sync with each other. Neural synchronization not functioning. Release forces dropped from 51% to 41%. It's never gone this slow, not even in training. Vice Commander, fall back. Redeploy in a regular suit. There are too many of them and they're too quick. I ain't got a way out. We'll synchronize and take them out. Uh-oh, it's no good. Release forces dropped to 34%. If it drops any lower, he won't be able to defend himself. Number 10, this is our last chance. Obey me. We'll use this plane, um, planes as a, a cover and attack. Don't back down. We'll take them head on. Oh, shit. Vice Commander. Uh-oh. Bioscience detected from numbers 10, weapon 10. He's alive. That monster, it read my movements and aimed that plane right at me. I hardened my armor just in time for that attack. My snap decision saved you. If you would listen to me from the start, we wouldn't even be in this mess. No, I was wrong to ask for your cooperation in the first place. Why do I do this to myself? Why do I always get involved with stubborn, hard-headed idiots? <laughs> Number 10, as a weapon, your, um, uh, your disregard for orders is a fatal flaw. This way they'll order to have you disposed. But still, we can't die here. Hmm? I'll go along with you just for today. Ooh, neural synchronization commencing. His release force is rising. <laughs> That's more like it. We'll face them head on. Yes! Yes! Follow me into the fire. Sy oh, synchronized and fully powered. Or sorry, synergized and fully powered. Dude, this is going to be amazing. 
See, number 10. Hoshina needed to realize number 10 was right. Because when you're fighting these motherfuckers, you gotta think like a monster. Because these monsters can read his movements. But I do like, he's like, damn it, I I always have to deal with these fucking idiots. These stubborn idiots. But you know what? I'm gonna go with him this time. Because these motherfuckers did read my movements and I almost died because of it. So, yeah. But yeah, I, for this, like out in the field against monsters, especially in this situation, I would have, I, I would have, um, for the first run, I would have um, synergized with number 10. And be like, okay, how about we make a deal? If I let you synergize, if I let you synergize with me this just this once, so I can get a feel for your power, and see, it, so I can, you know, and get a feel for your power. Not only that, but um, see uh, how a monster fights from the monster point of view then, um, then we'll train and let, you know, me take control and we'll do it like a 50, 50 kind of thing. I think that'd be fair. Don't you guys think? But I know, cause I know he's going to be a dick about it, but they got a compromise. How's she going to notice they got a compromise, but number 10 is right. They do. And you know what? Not going to lie. This is kind of, I, to me, this is very much foreshadowing what's going to happen with uh, with Kafka. Because Kafka is doing that. And Kafka is going to have to face that monster inside himself. And there's a lot of characters in manga that have to do this too. Just saying. But I'm very curious what you guys think. I'm so excited for this. I can't wait for next chapter. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Nerdy and Sync if you love what we're doing. I want to help keep this channel alive and kicking so I can keep bringing you more um, Kaiju number 8 content. A few ways you can do that. Donate to our cash at PayPal, Patreon, purchase something off our Amazon wishlist, all that's in the description box below. Also, make sure you follow us on Twitter, Twitch, Discord, friend us on PlayStation Network. That's in the description box below as well. Till next time, Nerdigans, I will be seeing you later. Bye.